magnificent Point Danger headland, the coastal border between Queensland and New South Wales, overlooks one of the best surfing beaches in the world and is probably a most unlikely place to have to work. The sweeping Gold Coast horizon to the north contrasts the natural landscape of Fingal Head to the south in one of the most inspiring working environments you could ever wish for. And that's exactly what a small group of enterprising local indigenous painters have decided. On most sunny days, you'll find these artists displaying the craft of their art to tourists. Dean Rodema, we've been doing this up here forever and a day on the beaches around here, and um, yeah, there's usually oh, about what three of us here now today, but usually up to a half a dozen of us here every day, and we try to come up here and capture them for the tourism market of the Gold Coast, or in our region here of the Tweed Byron. I mean, we're all local people from around here, so this is pretty much what we're all trying to do here. All over the world. People from all over the planet buy our stuff from here. So it never stops at all. So it's pretty good. Yeah, Tweed story. The one over here, the circle over here, this one here, that's the Mitchell Museum. Yeah, because of civilization. No pathway or other circles. So that's missing, yeah, under development. So that's the story, yeah. Gumpi Yogoraba from the people of the Nyandawal tribe. I work with uh, black and white and greys, a uh, unique style to my own, so basically uh, their investment art, so I, I do pretty well with it. He has done so well, in fact, that his artwork has attracted the attention of royalty. Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicta of Denmark, so, so as was second to the throne, so it's King Frederick's uh, second eldest. So, and uh, she, uh, I uh, took ownership of one of my paintings to take back to Germany, actually, where she lives now. Yeah, that was pretty exciting, so we done a dance show for her, and a uh, very, very nice lady, so I spent over an hour talking to her. These inspiring local artists are out there in the landscape, promoting Dreamtime stories of where they live, the local marine life, and the interconnectedness of their environment. <laughs>